Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today's video is going to be on how to install Jelly Bean on your Samsung Fascinate. Now, in order for this to work, you're going to have to make sure that your device is rooted and it is either running on gingerbread or running on ice cream sandwich. Now, the procedure and step by step is pretty easy, although the script, all the links you're going to need will be in the description. So, let's get started. In order for this to work, you are going to have to make sure your phone is rooted. And if you need help with that, I will have a video in the description to show you how to root and install Clockwork Mod onto your phone. Once you have done that, or you have already rooted and installed Clockwork Mod on your Samsung Fascinate, you're going to want to go ahead and download these two programs or files that will be in the description. Once you have downloaded them, you're going to want to go ahead and plug in your phone into your computer, Mac, or PC and go ahead and transfer them over to your SD card. Once you have transferred over to your SD card, you are going to want to go ahead and reboot into recovery. Now, to make sure that you don't get any errors, you're going to want to do a software reboot into Clockwork Recovery. Now, by doing that, if you hold down the power button, go over here and select Reboot and go into Recovery. If you do the three-fingered method, you have a high percentage chance of screwing up your phone and having to reflash the firmware. So once your device is rebooted, your clockwork recovery won't look like this. However, it should say something along the lines of 3.0.4. I'm running version 6.0.1. Now you're going to want to go ahead and go to wipe data slash factory reset and wipe cache partition. Those two are not necessary, but are strongly recommended. Once you have wiped both, or if you've chosen not to wipe them, you go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. Now you're going to go wherever you have downloaded the files. Now I won't be re I'm not going to be reinstalling this because I've already installed Jelly Bean. However, these steps these are the steps that I took in order to get Jelly Bean to work. Now you're going to go to wherever you've installed them, select CyanogenMod Mod CM10 201 20720 unofficial fascinate. Hit install, go up to yes, and hit install, and it will go so it goes through its thing. Once you've done that you're going to go back and you're going to install the Google applications for Jelly Bean. Now once that is done, you're going to go ahead and hit Reboot System Now. Alright, so once you have rebooted your device and set everything up, you will be greeted with a similar home screen to ice, as of Ice Cream Sandwich. However, as you can see, if we'll go into our Settings app, we'll scroll down to About Phone, and as you can see, we're running on Android 4.1.1 with the build model model number of the Fascinate. Now, obviously, this is a pre-release of the Sims Cyanogen mod. And as you can see, the build date is of as of yesterday. And that's the kernel it will be running and everything right up there. So just to show you some of the new features, we now have Google Search, or well, Google Now. So we go ahead and hit this. And because this is a beta, there are some issues. Oops. Now, because this is a beta, before we go into Google Now, there are some issues. Very minimal issues. However, there are some issues. Some people have reported that the App Store does not allow you to install apps. I've read that. In order to fix that, all you have to do is log out of your Google account, log back in, and re-download the application. Another thing I've heard is that the GPS isn't working currently. Or it's working, but it's very faulty. Everything else, though, I've, I've, that I've come across is working 100%. Wireless is working, the 3G, I can't confirm or deny if it works, but I've heard from many people that it does work. It's a, t it's a tad bit slower than usual, however, it does work. Um, all my applications work, and it's, it's kind of laggy, but that's to be expected. However, once the devs uh, work out the bugs, this is an alpha one, so this is the first release of this. Once, the, However, once the devs work out the bugs and we're able to get custom kernels to overclock everything should be buttery smooth so let's just go ahead into Google now and we'll search show me pictures of a greyhound 
as you can see it works pretty good it gets you pictures of the Greyhound we can also go up here and type in set a reminder for 12 oops alright so as you can see it is kind of buggy still but set a reminder for 12 a.m. tomorrow setting alarm so as you can see it works there and then we'll do one final test what is the current time in Honolulu, Hawaii? The time in Honolulu, Hawaii is 8.20 a.m. So as you can see, everything is working really good in Google now. There's no custom APIs you need to install in order to get it to work on Google's latest device. But um, I'm pre pleasantly surprised. I've been playing with this ROM for a couple hours now. And um, the only thing I've noticed are the things that I've told you about. And um, Advanced Task Killer, as you can see, the uh, the RAM runs kind of low. We'll free it as much as possible, and for about 120. But um, overall, it's a very solid ROM, um, very solid build. Stay tuned for my uh, video for uh, Google Now or Siri. Uh, I'll be asking some good questions to see if uh, Siri is truly better than Google Now, or if Google Now will in fact be the Siri killer. So guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you need help, leave a comment below. But for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying thanks for watching and have a good day.